I created a Super Mario game clone under just one hour using AI and cursor. AI is getting better and better at coding, but I've always used it as a coding assistant. Today I'm going to ask AI to create the Super Mario game without me coding anything. I don't have any experience in game development, so I wouldn't be able to code this game myself. Everything will be generated by the Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model and the cursor IDE. I created an empty folder and installed the Pygame library. First thing, in the folder, I create a text file with some instructions on what we're creating, plus some details about the game. I started by typing out create a Super Mario, and then autocomplete feature starts filling out the sentence. Super Mario game using Python and Pygame, press the tab key to accept the suggestion. And then I want to include some details about the game, so I say that the game should, and then magically the cursor autocomplete feature will take care of the rest for you. Platformer game, 3000 pixel wide for the level. Player should be able to move right and left and jump. That sounds good, let's accept that. So the game should have a start menu for sure, and the game should have enemies, and players can jump on top to kill them. There should be a background, and Mario should be able to move left and right. Cursor's auto-complete feature also suggested adding a scoring system and some other features. I want to start simple and make sure it works before implementing other fancy stuff. So let's skip these recommendations for now. Save the instruction text file. I'm using Windows. Press Ctrl Shift I to open the cursor composer. The instruction file is added in this composer, so AI has the context. And let's give it a simple prompt. Create the game based on instruction. Then AI starts writing our program. The amazing thing is that cursor can structure and write the program in multiple files and save them in the working folder. When cursor is done writing the code, it will tell you how to install the required libraries such as Pygame and how to run the game. I'm going to accept all the changes, close out composer, and test the game. Right off the bat, there's a bug. That's a little disappointing. It seems like Pygame doesn't have the rendInt attribute or function. Let's ask AI to fix the error. Copy and paste the error message in the composer and ask it to fix it. Apply changes. We have a game screen. Good job, cloud. There's a ground, sky, cloud. And we can move the red block, which is supposed to be our Mario character. However, the enemies are standing still. So let's make the enemies move left and right. The enemies are those green boxes, as you can see they can move now. However, we want more enemies on the map, so let's add some more. And we can kill these enemies by jumping on top of them, and they can also kill Mario if they touch our red block. We got the basic mechanics working, so now let's add a scoring system, which will gain score by killing enemies. And that seems to be working. In a real Mario game, we can collect coins, so let's add some coins in our game too. And that appears to be a lot of coins, too many to my liking. I will limit the number of coins to a maximum of 20 coins and regenerate the code. I trust the code works here, so I'm not going to test it for this change. I also want to add an ending screen if Mario gets killed. It should say game over and press a key to continue, something like that. In this iteration, there is a game over screen, but pressing the space bar doesn't start a new game. So let's fix that real quick. Instead of the red block, I want to have a Mario looking character that can actually move and animate. So I use Stable Diffusion to generate three running image in sequence. Basically, I found these people running images and I use Control Net to extract their poses. And then I generate these Mario looking characters in pixel art style. I will put these images inside a folder called assets within our working directory. And then I tell the AI to use these three images to animate the Mario character. At first, it seems that AI couldn't tell what the file names are in this case. So I followed up and clarified the file names are running 1 to 3 and they are PNG files. After these changes, for some reason the game starts, but Mario doesn't appear now. I asked AI to fix it, but after these changes, the error was still there. Then I followed up with more questions and iterated a few rounds. Basically, I test the program and I describe what I see to the AI and ask it to fix it. The AI also suggested print out the Mario position and the camera position to make sure Mario object gets created. AI also suggested to replace the images with a red block to make sure other parts of the game still works. And that worked fine, we have a red block Mario running around, but then when I switch back to the images, Mario character still doesn't show up. 
I wonder if this is because the image file paths were not correct. So I asked AI to write some code to verify the image files exist, which I did verify those files are at the right location and can be read by the program. After a few rounds, finally, in this iteration, AI suggested that there could be a few places to check for why the character was not showing up. It could be the image size or position. Looks like it's working now, so I asked what might have caused the problem. AI summarized the changes it applied in this iteration, including some debugging visuals, such as this red border around our character. Now the game works fine, but I noticed the game is still missing a winning condition. So I asked AI to add a flagpole and a castle at the end of the level, which the AI did by adding a new file called endlevel.py. At this point, when Mario reaches the flagpole, we should win, but that's missing. And the castle looks really bad now. Let's ask AI to fix these things and also add an ending screen. This time the castle looks better, but because the level got extended to 4000 pixels, however, the ground wasn't updated to match that length. And as you can see now, I might have found a bug in cursor that it stopped responding to my prompts in this window. I'm not sure what went wrong, so after a few tries, I decided to shorten my prompt, and this time it worked. I played the game a couple more times and found a few more bugs and asked AI to fix it. At this stage, I think this is a success given I don't have any experience in making games. AI did a decent job at creating the game mechanics as well as the graphics and my role was really a tester and reviewer. And all I did was just describe what I see on the screen to AI and it somehow figured out how to program the whole game and debug several issues. That is all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.